Every week I see test takers asking the same questions. How do I actually learn from my mistakes? What's a good GMAT focus score? Which essays do MIM schools ask for? Well, this roundup answers those questions with new guides, tools, and even some fee waivers that might save you some money. All the links are in the description below, so let's get right into it. One of the fastest ways to plateau is to keep making the same mistakes without understanding why. That's why BB, the founder of GMAT Club, has written a detailed guide on mistake analysis. Instead of letting wrong answers disappear, BB shows how to turn every error into a learning loop. Ask yourself why you made the mistake, what it taught you, and how to ensure that it never happens again. He also recommends building a binder of missed questions or using the GMAT Club error log, which automatically tracks everything that you practice. If you want to stop repeating mistakes, BB's full post is linked down below. Data sufficiency is tricky because it blends logic, quant, and time pressure. Now there's a brand new GMAT Club DS directory organized by both topics and difficulty level from sub 505 questions all the way up to 805. Whether you need to sharpen combinatronics, overlapping sets, or min or max, you can now practice at the exact level that you'd like. And if you want to simulate test conditions, you can load these sets into the forum quiz with an auto timer. Full directory and quiz trial are linked below. Timing is one of the biggest killers on GMAT Quant, and that's where shortcuts can make the difference. GMAT Club moderator Carcass has compiled the ultimate shortcuts guide, not random tricks, but the time savers you'll actually use on test day. You'll find methods for fast two-digit multiplication, divisor counts, prime checks, remainder rules, and classic sum formulas. Pair these with a solid theory base and you'll shave precious minutes off the clock. Carcass's full guide is linked down below. Critical reasoning often comes down to two answer choices that both seem right. That's why this week kicks off a new live Q&A series. In episode one, GMAT coach Whitney Garner, founder of Engage Prep, takes your toughest CR questions and explains how to break down arguments, spot traps, and choose confidently. If CR has ever left you second guessing, this is one that you wouldn't want to miss. The video link is mentioned down below. Permutations and combinations are one of the most intimidating quant topics, mainly because students memorize formulas without really understanding them. In this masterclass, Aditya Kumar shows a logic first way to approach PNC. You learn a three step checklist to quickly decide if it's a permutation or a combination, plus a clean mental model that helps you avoid the double counting. If PNC slows you down, the replay and playlist links are in the description below. If you are considering master's programs, mark your calendar for September 10th. The Master's Spotlight Fair brings adcoms and students from top schools like EGC, ESSEC, Yale, Chicago Booth, LBS, and more, all in one place. You'll also get application fee waivers from Tepper and Emory, and free templates for LORs and resumes, and even one week of GMAT Club tests if you register. Plus, attendees can win prizes like forum quiz adaptive access, or even a one-hour our essay review with BB, founder of GMAT Club. Sign up link is mentioned below. Since no schools have published official GMAT focus averages yet, we've converted the latest classic averages into predicted focus ranges. For most top 20 US schools, you'll likely need a score around 665 or higher to be competitive. For schools ranked 30 to 50, the typical range falls in the upper 500s to lower 600s. These projections will shift as real applicant data comes in, but for now, they give you a reliable benchmark. The full score chart is linked in the description. Want to stay ahead on MBA admissions trends? GMAT Club has a new podcast playlist covering the hottest debates. How much weight admissions puts on essays versus test scores, whether big company names on your resume really matter, and how AI might shape essays and MBA careers. You'll also hear discussions on ROI, financing your degree, and differences between US, European, and Asian programs. If you like learning on the go, the full playlist is linked below. If you're targeting master's and management programs, you'll need to be ready for the essays. GMAT Club has compiled essay prompts from HEC, ESSEC, INSEAD, LBS, ESCP, Imperial, SAT, RSM, WHU, Mannheim, IE, Warwick, Kellogg, Duke, Ross, NUS, HKUS, Don, Melbourne, St. Gallen, and many more. Ooh. This mega resource lets you see common themes like motivation, career goals, and personal values so you can build a reusable story bank. Full compilation is linked below. Finally, if you've ever wondered what really makes someone a fit for Harvard Business School, this video breaks it down. You'll learn what HBS looks for, professional achievements, leadership, academic rigor, and how essays, recommendations, and interviews all work together. It also covers real admit stories and whether applying in round one versus round two makes a difference. If Harvard is on your radar or you're just curious, watch the full breakdown through the link below. 
And that's all for this week's updates. Every link is in the description below. So if you want to dive deeper into any of these topics, go check that out. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss next week's roundup. And if you found this helpful, share it with your study group so everyone stays ahead together. See you guys next week. Bye bye.